Hey guys, John Lynn here from Facebook 100, Dreamsports.org. How is it going? I am here to make picks for February 17th, 2012. What is going on? So totally excited to make picks for you guys today after what happened with uh, Thursday's pick. Tremendous day on Thursday. Uh, we went, let's see, 14-1 uh, and one between college basketball and the NBA. Went 3-0 in the NBA. I'll talk about that in a second. We shouldn't have, but we did. Um, and we had more than loss. I gotta go back. I don't remember exactly. Uh, Western Kentucky beat uh, Florida Atlantic, I think, or Florida International. After one they played, that was our one college basketball loss. Uh, let's take a look first at let's do let's do college basketball first, actually. Uh, we went 11 and 1, like I said. So our hot streak continues. Um, 21 and 8 in the last two days. 431 wins. Uh, 214 losses. 737 wins. 284 losses is the lifetime record. Now, there's not many games. There's no top 25s. Excuse me. There's no top 25s, and um, there is. Well, only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only eight regular Division One games, so we are going to pick them all. So, here we go. Uh, Brown and uh, Harvard is where we're going to kick things off. And I already forgot who I said I was going to pick. Um, I am going to go with, oh yeah, I'm going to go with Harvard in that. There. Uh, Yale and Dartmouth give me uh, Yale, Columbia, and Princeton. and go with Princeton, Cornell, and Pennsylvania. I am going to say Pennsylvania. Stetson and Florida Gulf Coast. We'll go Florida Gulf Coast. Northern Iowa and Virginia Commonwealth. I'm going to go with Virginia Commonwealth. And Valparaiso and Loyola Marymount. Uh, going to be a good game, I think, but I'm going to go with uh, Loyola Marymount in that game there. So there you go. There's those picks. Um, let's see here. Let's move now to the NBA. Had a good day there. Going uh, 3-0. and And we shouldn't have gone 3-0. and Big win. Uh, for the Clippers, who were basically dominated uh, the whole game by the Trailblazers, uh, they led five to four in the uh, first period of uh, the first quarter of that game, and then uh, that was the last time they led until just over three minutes left to go in the game. Uh, they were down by double digits uh, at a couple different times in the game. I, I did watch it. Uh, it was just, it was, it was a good game. Uh, so I guess you can call it a good game, but a sloppy game. Um, anyway, like I said, we went 3 0. Got our 200th win on the year on that, so we are 200 and 109 on the year, 715 and uh, 382 on uh, Lifetime. Let's take a look now at the NBA schedule. Let's take a look how that looks. Got some tough games to pick here, but we are going to give it a shot. Milwaukee and Orlando, I am going to go with uh, the Magic to beat the Bucks, but I was, I was shaky, but that's where I'm going to go. Charlotte and Toronto, this is a tough game to pick, I think. I am going to go uh, with the Bobcats to beat the uh, Raptors. Miami and Cleveland. LeBron says he is possibly open to a return to Cleveland. He says he could see it in the future. Therefore, he wants things to be smooth in Cleveland. Therefore, he's going to try to go into Cleveland quietly. I'm going to say the Heat are going to beat the Cavs. Wish I could watch that game. Should be interesting. Sacramento and Detroit give me the... Uh, I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I'm going to say Kings beat the Pistons. But that one could come back to bite me probably. Well, Minnesota and Houston give me uh, the Rockets to beat the Timberwolves. Shaky there. New Orleans and New York give me the Knicks to beat the Hornets. Uh, Carmelo Anthony could be back for the game, so should be entering Dallas and Philadelphia. Give me the uh, Mavs to beat the 76ers. Golden State and Oklahoma City. Give me the Thunder to beat the Warriors. Denver and Memphis. Give me the Nuggets to beat the Grizzlies. And Washington and Utah. Give me... Um, the Jazz to beat the Wizards and Phoenix and the LA Lakers. Uh, give me the Lakers to beat the Suns. Now, uh, the Mavs Sixers can be seen at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN. Phoenix and the LA Lakers can be seen at 10.30 Eastern Time on ESPN. 
All right, so there you go. Uh, that is going to do it for me, by the way. Stay tuned uh, tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get up really early in the morning and watch watch a... Um, I'm going to get up early in the morning and watch some film on last year's Budweiser Shootout Race, and then I will give you uh, the Budweiser Shootout preview for tomorrow. Of course, the Budweiser Shootout is on Saturday, so NASCAR, getting closer, NASCAR fans. I am pumped and ready for it. I will talk more about how I'm going to do I've decided that I'm going to do something before each of my reviews, so I'll talk about that tomorrow in the Shootout preview. So that is going to do it for me. I am... Jonathan with up today Sports Farm and JM Sports and Tyler. I know. Peace.